This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you a very special screencast talking about analyzing sales by items. We're going to show you how to use macros, very simple macros, and a very simple good introduction of pivot tables so you can start learning how to take your data from QuickBooks, export it to Excel, and really go to work playing with it so that you can analyze it and get great information out of it. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. You know, a lot of people ask me, Seth, how do I grow my business? What can I do to grow my business? And usually that question sparks a conversation that goes right into things like marketing, social media, and generally speaking, ways to increase sales. But a lot of times what, what's happened there is that we've kind of completely overstepped one very important piece of the picture, especially for a company that's been around for a little while, which is before we go and decide how much time and money to throw at marketing in a particular area, maybe we should stop, take a step back, and think about what do we want to market? What do we, what do we want to sell to people? Because a lot of times what happens, and I think we get hung up on this a lot as business owners, is we have one particular item or maybe a, a small group of items that are selling really well. And so the idea is to go market that. But that's already selling well. And it's a, in some respects, it could be sort of uh, similar to, you know, buying stocks high and selling them low, right? Why do I want to spend more money marketing something that's already selling, that's already got a presence out there? Maybe if I take a step back and take a look under the hood, so to speak, look in QuickBooks, and let's see when we look at QuickBooks, not just what's selling well, but let's take a look at what's not selling so well. Because it might be that something's not selling well, not because it's a bad product, but maybe because we haven't shown enough light on it to let people know, to let our customers know about that product and let, it, let them know about the benefits of that product. So if I can take the already existing group of items that are selling really well and add another item into that mix, now I've increased my profits and now I've, and my return on investment in terms of the time and money that I invest in that marketing is much higher on an item like that because I take an item that wasn't selling well and, and turn it into an item that is selling well. Now, of course, that's a decision that has to be made after the analysis, but the first thing we need to do is analyze the product, the or analyze the sales, rather. The second thing we need to do is analyze the product, which means looking at um, that product's uh, margins. So once we look at the sales and we look at a few items maybe that represent a lower percentage of sales than we think is uh, they have the potential for, then once we've made that determination, we can actually start analyzing that product in terms of its inventory uh, reporting in QuickBooks, and we can look at how profitable is that product. Because imagine I can find a product that's selling low volume right now, but has a higher profit margin than the high selling products. So if I can get that item to sell better, then I've really increased the bottom line and substantially driven up my return on investment in terms of the time and money that I'm spending on the marketing. So the problem is a lot of times we do it backwards. We do the marketing first before first taking a look at which products are really most beneficial for us to market. And of course, keeping that balanced with you know what's best for our customers. But uh, usually, I think generally speaking, it's safe to say that the, the items that uh, the best items are the ones we want to sell the most. Anyway, you get the point. Let me take you into QuickBooks here. Let me show you some reports that I want to demonstrate. Um, and I'm going to give you some examples here of, of we're going to learn how to write simple macros in Excel. So Because what we're going to do is we're going to run the reports in QuickBooks. Then we're going to export to Excel and we're going to clean the data up. We want to get it into a format where it's into a, the format of a raw data table. And then we're going to use that information to create pivot tables. So you're going to be able to see the power of pivot tables. And I'm, I'm not going to show you anything that's that difficult. Once you see how it's done, uh, as I think is often the case with my videos, I like to think so anyway, you'll probably agree that, uh, oh, it's not that difficult. It's, it's, it's actually pretty simple once you've seen it demonstrated the right way. So let's take a look at some of our reports here. We'll go up to the reports menu. We go into sales. And let's take a look at the sales by item detail. This is really the one we want to take a look at right now. And we're going to run this for this fiscal year. So we've got a lot of items in here. And you know we can look at this here. You also want to take a look at the sales by item summary. But this, is the, this report here, the sales by item detail, is the one you're going to want to export. But let's quickly take a look at the sales by item summary. Because as long as you're just kind of staying in the QuickBooks world, then this is a great report to look at because this will show you at a glance each item and what percentage of total sales it represents and that's valuable information 
right? So we can look at the amount. We're looking at the total sales. Then it also gives us some other useful information. The average price, cost of goods sold, right? Average cost of goods sold, the gross margin, and of course the gross margin percentage. So we can really start to analyze things in terms of what makes up the highest percentage of sales, but what's got the highest gross margin? Like look down here. I have an item here in the uh, assembly items that has a 60.7% gross margin, but I'm not selling as many of them. It's got a, a, a relatively speaking, a lower percentage of sales compared with this item, which has half the profit margin. So wouldn't it be beneficial to see about selling more of these? And maybe it's a product that my customer can really use and I just haven't shed light on it. So this is the kind of analysis we want to start to do. Now if we take it a few steps further, what you're able to do is export that report into QuickBooks, into Excel rather, from QuickBooks. But as you can already tell, <clears throat> I've got it into a little different format than what you see in QuickBooks. And the reason for that is I spent some time cleaning the data up and getting it into this format, this raw data table format. I also added in this month column so that we could get some relevant information out of the, the transaction info in terms of what month a sale was made and what month an item was sold in. Now once I got it into this format, we were able to create this pivot table. And as you can see, the pivot table, and this is just one example of what you can start to do, I have it grouped here by item and then with, or by uh, item, yes, and then within that by customer. So that I'm able to easily see within a particular item, these are the customers that bought it and these are the months that they bought it in. I also uh, flipped that around and I can put the customer on top. So I can see it first by customer and then within each customer by item. This is the power of the pivot table. And this is what I'm not able to show you in a short screencast because it literally takes me a half an hour to, um, to just record it, let alone all the edit time and all that. So what I've done is I've made a full length version of this video which is available in my knowledge store. All you have to do is go to nerdenterprises.com and there's a link at the top or go to nerdenterprises.com slash knowledge and you'll see this product right in here analyzing sales for maximum ROI. It's $27 as of right now and that price could change but in any case if you download this it will walk you through step by step how to complete the export of course which you probably already know how to do but beyond that how to write write a, a simple macro that lets you clean up that helps helps make the process of cleaning up the data much faster and then the video will also walk you through step by step how to uh, set up that month column because it's not that simple it's a you have to create a table and write a VLOOKUP formula to get that put together so the video teaches you that it uses a date formula within that infrastructure in order to get the date information that's needed so that we can look up the month of a transaction. And finally, we're going to teach you how to begin creating basic pivot tables so you can accomplish exactly what I just showed you here, where you can start playing around with the data. Now, this is where it goes beyond what QuickBooks can do. QuickBooks can show me uh, one level, but it can't show me two levels within the same report. I can't do a report that shows me by customer tell me each item that I sold to that customer and what month I sold it in. This is the power of the pivot table. So visit my knowledge store. Of course, the link to the product will be here in the video wherever you're watching this. So go ahead and click on the link, download the class. Literally within a few minutes after you download the video file, you'll be able to watch this and see step by step how to go through this. So you can literally start maximizing your return on investment and use this kind of analysis to decide where to put your marketing dollars and time because it's better to know which products are the right products to promote, right? So, as always, I hope you've gotten a lot out of this. If you have any questions, email me, seth at nerdenterprises.com. If you'd prefer to hire me directly to train you one-on-one -on -one for this stuff, I'm available for that. Just give me a call at 866-945-8070. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. This is Seth David from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you a very special screencast talking about analyzing sales by items. We're going to show you how to use macros, very simple macros, and a very simple, good introduction of pivot tables so you can start learning how to take your data from QuickBooks, export it to Excel, and really go to work playing with it so that you can analyze it and get great information out of it. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards.